basically what this place is, is like one big yard sale, you know. From lamps to movies to clothes to dinner plates, this Saline County thrift store has a lot, including a mission that goes beyond the sale. I see a bunch of stuff in here that'll accumulate dollars and nickels and dimes that'll go towards helping other people. Helping Hands and Caring Hearts owner Bonnie Johnson has a passion for giving back. The girls are important to me, it's personal. We try to help everybody. Over the last 13 years, she's given away clothes, shoes and furniture to folks who need them. But her heart is with people who've made a big mistake. The majority of her employees are in drug court, on parole or have been in prison. Most people aren't gonna be very understanding when they say, I gotta go take a drug test. That's not gonna happen. But that's one of the things we do here. I understand they have to leave. I understand they have to be at meetings. I understand. It's an understanding that might have started with her son. <laughs> oh, Mom, I love you. In 93, I caught a murder charge. Uh, I got, I was, I was acquitted of my murder charge. I went down on lesser charges. James Gross has spent a lot of time behind bars, but with a renewed faith and a strong mother, he's changing. Statistically, I shouldn't be here. You know what I mean? I should be incarcerated. I should be doing a life sentence. That's how I know, I know God has got something for me. And he is my success story. I've seen it. A thrift store in Saline County is offering more than a discount. It's offering solutions. And they said I couldn't do it, but 13 years in April says I can.